Hello everyone, so uh, today I'll be doing a video on um, how to uh, take care and um, store your uh, sort of respirators, your surplus respirators or gas masks. So here I have a um, GP5, this one is from 78, so it's pretty old, 40 years old, and um, so uh, Right here I have the filter, so the filter I usually wouldn't pull this plug right here since you won't even use it, it has asbestos in it, but uh, if you want it to last long, I don't know why, but you can just put sort of a tape over it to seal it, I don't know why I did that, but yeah, so um, the mask itself, if you already wore this mask, so if I turn this over, you see on the inside there's some uh, metal bits, so after you breathe through this, um, there's going to be um, sort of spit and then just um, dirty stuff from, you know, saliva and stuff. And uh, you would want to clean that because if, you know, if it stays in there, um, it would make the mask sort of, uh, it would rust it. So what I would do, get a tissue paper. And you see on the inside, the middle part, I'll just clean that so it doesn't rust, so it, so it can last a long time. So, same thing applies for when you're washing a mask, you gotta make it all dried up so uh, it doesn't rust. So, um, if you're washing a mask, you would wash it in um, warm water instead of cold water, and uh, you sort of scrub it with some dish soap or stuff like that. and um, you get a clean mask. Just make sure to uh, make the mask dry. Uh, so, so what I would do um, is I would open this satchel here. I would put the filter in first, so um, it stays in shape all the way down, and then the mask. So I would bend this and make it more compact, and. Um, you would uh, just put it in. It's hard for me to do on camera, but just put it in there. You might want to be careful of the um, sort of filter inside because it does get scratched up and um, buckle. Uh, just put the buttons on. Right here is sort of a bad example, but it's alright, um, you can store this. So, uh, this is how you would pack. So now I'm going to uh, show you how to store this gas mask. Uh, so what you would find is a dry and dark environment, sort of like a cabinet. This is where I store all of my um, surplus stuff, and um, you wouldn't want to expose your uh, gas mask to sunlight because it discolors the rubber and makes it bad. Some masks even tend to melt, so uh, I would just store this in a dark, cool, and dry environment. So, uh, put the mask in. Make sure it's in right shape. And you usually would find these um, sort of white packs. These are um, for making things, keeping things like dry and stuff. So you would get these from sort of uh, food and snacks, you would find these in seaweed packets, and you just throw those in. Also, just leave one behind to, like, put inside the bag, so it keeps the mask dry, and, uh, yeah, uh, the mask will be good.